Hi there. Today I'm going to share a little tip with you guys that a lot of people really don't know about, a lot of people really don't understand. And this little tip is the cause of a lot of failures in monitors, in ham radios, CB radios, like this one here. Uh, it's a parts radio now. Uh, just many pieces of electronics, power supplies. This stuff lurks in so many pieces of equipment and people don't know why their equipment fails i.e. you have a monitor, the horizontal output transistor or flyback driver fails, you replace it and it seems to work good again and there's never another issue. You wonder yourself, why did that transistor fail? It was just weak. Well, sometimes not. And I'll show you why right here. You see this glue? This glue here holding the crystal to the can, this glue here holding the wire, this glue on this form back here. This is wax, not glue up here. You can see back here there's glue. I've chipped it away a little bit on this ferrite bead. It's all over this radio. It's everywhere. That glue becomes conductive over time. And this glue is found in so many modern pieces, you know, of electronic gear. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's measure some of its resistance. Okay, so what I'll do here, you can see my fingers, it's measuring the resistance of my body here. So I'll touch some plastic to show you my meter is okay. I'll touch, you know, the board. Touch the uh, transformer here, both sides of the plastic on there. Touch a piece of wire. Now I'll touch one of these cans, okay? And I'll touch the glue. Look at that. 12 megs. You can move it along the glue and find some really low spots. Sometimes they're right down at 1 meg. See, and that's from there. I'll touch the can here and go over to this piece of glue. It's pretty high. 50 megs. Still resistive. So now, let's go over here. The darker it gets, the more conductive it seems to get. Let's touch this piece of glue. There's 6 megs there. I'll just move it along the glue a little. Look at that, 1 meg. So if you've got a FET driving something and that glue is touching the, the uh, uh, gate lead on a FET and it's, you know, adjacent piece is a high voltage part, that's going to turn that FET on or off or it's going to, um, you know, do all sorts of bad things. So this glue has to be removed. There's just, that's just right across that piece of glue from the inside to the outside of that little bubble. Yeah, two mega ohms right there. So we can see that this glue is going to be quite destructive in any kind of high voltage circuit. And, um, you know, in any kind of a radio circuit, it destroyed this PLL board here. So I've, it was everywhere on here. Some of it isn't conductive. Some of it is. Some of it was. I chipped a lot of it off. But this board is shot. And, um, you know, it destroyed a bunch of ICs on there. So I ended up just using it for parts. It wasn't uh, anything major anyways. I could have gone in there and probably replaced all the bad ICs, but eh, just better to use it for coils and uh, and um, stuff like that. So there's a whole bunch of VRs on it that I used for parts and pieces and little projects. And that's the same thing here. It's an old CB radio. I've just used this for, uh, for uh, you know, small projects and such. But... The bottom line here is, if you find this glue in anything, you want to get rid of it. You'll find it in monitors. It's really prevalent in monitors, and it's almost like it was planned. It's, uh, you know, I'd like to think that the manufacturers didn't know about this glue going conductive, but uh, it seems to be so prevalent in high voltage circuits, it's, uh, it almost looks like it was put there purposely. And this is, you know, even rusting and corroding the can here. It's causing corrosion on the top of this little crystal. So, that's the tip of the day. If you find this, uh, this glue, as I say, it starts out as a yellow colored, kind of a custardy color, and it'll go to a dark chocolatey brown, or kind of like a, a burnt pastry crust color. Uh, that's when it starts to become conductive. When it's yellow, it really isn't. So, um, if you've got something brand new and it's still yellow, you want to get it out of there before it starts discoloring, or it will, uh, you know, self-destruct itself, the piece of electronics gear that they've put this stuff in. Hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll have all sorts of uh, other weird tips and tricks that uh, maybe aren't so common. Take care.